What is going on guys? I want to take a few minutes today, whether it's the morning or the afternoon or if it's the evening, to talk about my quest for the perfect EDC fixed blade. You probably wonder why I have my Ben Banters NAFCO titanium ruler out here. It's because I've been looking at unboxing and carrying a lot of small fixed blades with my regular pocket knife. For example, today I'm carrying my Slim, but I'm also carrying a small fixie. And today's small fixie, we'll just get into that. So I think the best way to go about this is to kind of start throughout my quest. So I saw the Jacob Creates Chickadee Lefty did a video on it. Um, I started watching them on Instagram. I started checking them out. Um, missed the drop at uh, River's Edge Cutlery and then missed a drop at Cutlery Shop. But anyway, I was looking around wanting to try some small fixies um, and to use them as the secondary carry. Uh, and to be honest with you, I've picked up several. I've been using them and I think that they are a really great addition to my EDC game. I really enjoy them. I find myself reaching for them quite a bit. The first one that I picked up was this little Tucson TS247, I think. It is, let's get our ruler here. The ruler's six inches, guys. So this little knife overall is right around five and a quarter with about a two and a half inch blade. But this little guy is M390 in micarta. It fits three fingers really well. I can get four fingers around the knife and then I can utilize it for different grips to make small cuts, not to do anything where I'm processing a lot of cardboard, but just to have a quick little knife that I can wear horizontally on my belt, stays totally out of the way. I can pop it out when I need to. Um, it's been a great knife and this is one that I continue to carry. I had it with an ulti clip. Uh, we'll see some different carry ways as we go through these, but this was the first one I picked up. I must say that I'm pleased with it. It is the TS247. Again, I think it is a um, M390 and my carta handled with a Kydex slash plasticky little sheath, but it doesn't rattle. It's got good retention and it does what it's supposed to. Well, that knife cost me right around 45 bucks. So I was winning and I figured there were more small two sons that were in that same $45, $50 price range before discount code. And the second one I picked up is an older two son. It's the two son TS150. The TS-150 is S90V. It's got a little micarta handle. It is also a three finger knife, but more of a three finger all the way. I mean, that's all you're gonna get on this knife. But again, it's got more of a pronounced point, I guess you'd call it, for utility cuts, things like that. It's not a sheep's foot, but it doesn't have as much belly as the 247. And this little knife is great. The way I've got it set up now is I carry it in my left pocket with the ulti clip, or I'll carry it in the back pocket with the ulti clip. If I need to pull it out, need to make a cut, this S90V is thin and slicey, and it is uh, has jimping where you'd want it. And again, just kind of been a great little knife. Nothing I'd want to put to any hard use, but as a secondary carry, fifth pocket knife, small EDC fixed blade, I was moving, continuing to move in the right direction. Now, I got a little bit sidetracked and went a little bit larger than before. So let's go back and I didn't even give you a good size comparison on this guy. So this little knife is right at just about four and a half inches with about a two and a quarter, two and a half inch blade. So it's gonna be smaller, the TS-150 is gonna be smaller than 247. Well then, I ran into the Viper, which is a Voxnest Designs, the Viper Knives 
they have a little one and a lily two. I think it's pronounced lil one, lil two. Comes with the altar clip. Um, this is a really cool knife. It's LMAX. It's got a super pronounced belly. This is a true four finger full grip knife because it has the four choil. It's very generous. I like this knife so much. You'll see the jimping there on the blade, on this LMAX blade. It gives you two distinctive areas to place your hand to get a good grip, and that jimping is strong enough to hold you in place. Um, very thin, uh, very slicey blade. Again, it's just got serious grab on it. I don't think I have any paper close by. Let's put it here by the ruler. But you'll notice it's a little bit larger. It's still a knife that I can very easily put in my pocket. Um, it's right around six and a half inches. The blade's gonna come in right under three inches. Um, I like this knife so much, guys, that they have the, this is the Lily One or Lil One, and this is the Lil Two. I had to get a matching set because they also make a sheep's foot, which is a fantastic sheep's foot. It's got a little bit of poon there with the jimping, and it's also got that very generous finger choil. And it's a, you know, not a full size knife by any means. It's a small knife, but compared to the knives that we've been looking at, this has uh, been my largest EDC fixed blade. But both of these work very well. Um, I haven't carried them scout style yet. I have carried them with the Ulti Clip, either in my front pocket or in my back pocket. But that is the Viper knives. I think they're made in Italy, uh, Voxnez Designs, and uh, these guys are great. They're still available at White Mountain Knives, I, Arctic Carbon Fiber. They also have regular carbon fiber, and they have G10. So check these knives out. I can highly recommend them if you are hunting for a fixed blade. Well, then I came across this little guy. And this little guy is MKM's um, Micro, and it's spelled M-I-K-R-O, but it is a micro-sized knife. They make this in both a drop point and a sheep's foot. It's got a little magnetic clasp. It also has a, um, a little Kydex sheath. That's really how I carry it. This is a good way to carry it if you're just gonna leave it in your pocket with the magnetic clasp. This little guy is right at four inches, a little over four inches. The blade's gonna be a two inch blade. But guys, you can see where the jimping is on this knife. It is very, very usable with two and a half, three fingers. It's a small knife, again, secondary carry, M390 and micarta. I carry this knife with this little uh, Kydex sheath on my belt. Pops right out. I love the little leather magnetic sheath. And you can actually flip this back like so. And you can clip it in your pants. You can kind of clip it across your pocket like that. Whoops. If I could hold on to it. But I feel like it needs a little more retention, a little bit more. This in the fifth pocket's great, guys. But I did and do like the Kydex sheath for this one. So when I carry it nine times out of 10, it's gonna have the Kydex sheath. Locks into place, absolutely no rattle. It's not going anywhere. This is a great sheath, I keep it out. But uh, that is the MKM Micro uh, from MKN, which brought me full circle thanks to a DSKFS from one of our brothers in the community who might want to remain nameless, so I won't even drop a name, but he's a great guy. We all know him. We all love him, and he had been watching my quest for the perfect EDC knife, and he hooked me up with an S90V chickadee with a killer oak um god i forget who the hold on guys i've got to remember i'll put it in the description who makes these sheaths i just started following them on instagram today this sheath 
is awesome. It didn't come with the chickadee. This little kydex sheet did. But this guy's in pocket is awesome. And it's oak. Um, again, I'll put it in the description. But this is my chickadee that one of our community brethren made possible. Gave me a great bro deal. What he got it for. Pass that along to me. These knives are typically running right under 270, 260 bucks. Um, they're in Magna Cut, the ones that have been dropping lately. This one again is S90V and G10. But this little knife gives you a full three fingers, has no jimping, but it has really nice blade stock. It's made here in the USA by Jacob Creates. Um, just a, a super little knife and again I thought it might be silly I was wondering do I need a small fixed blade is it something that I would actually carry and use and you can see through my kind of bumbling through small fixed blade land and then getting a chance to pick up the chickadee I still definitely jumped on it because I do I find myself now carrying a small fixed blade daily on the daily it's only been about 10 days now but i'm continuing to carry it on the daily this little guy's right at five inches the blades right around three and a half inches it's got a nice grind all these knives have been flat grind knives guys but they're all super super slicey so that is the jacob creates chickadee and when I carry it, I'll either carry it in the Kydex sheath with just a single belt loop. There's no rattle in that. But this oak craft designs, I think maybe, is just the way, the only way to carry it. I mean, you just put it in your pocket like a regular pocket clip. Boop, there you go. You got you a knife, comes out really easily. Make your cuts, quick little cuts and still have your primary pocket knife for when you need it. So guys, don't know what you think about that. Think if I've lost my mind. I think you all knew that I'd lost my mind a long time ago, but I figure um, why not get familiar with a little fixed blade? And I have Lefty EDC to blame because he sent me down the rabbit hole. He didn't do it intentionally. He's just one of those influencers guys who makes me spend money and I don't, you know, I don't blame him for it. I enjoy all these little knives and I would have not taking this little trip, which I don't think is over yet, um, as I continue to enjoy smaller fixed blade knives. Guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Anytime you come by and watch a video, I appreciate all of you who subscribe. That way you'll know when I release other videos. I appreciate it when you comment. I appreciate it when you like. I appreciate it if you don't like. Whatever you do to feel comfortable, as long as you'll look out for the guy or gal to your left, look out for the guy or gal to your right, Look out for one another, guys. Life is short. Choose debate over hate every time. I love you all. Peace.